And this is the end of our episode, and we think the top three is going to be... Violet Kennedy, and who else do you think is going to be in the top three? I think it might be Pearl. I wouldn't be surprised, and also I wouldn't be surprised if Ginger was in the top three. But I wouldn't be surprised if... Co See, it's such a good top five. See there? Like, it's such a good top five. They should just have a top five. They should have a top five. They got room on that stage there at the Orpheum. I mean, they should just have a top five. <laughs> yeah, uh, five winners. Mm -hmm. Um, but like, I mean, there's like with this top five, it's just like so hard to pick like who's gonna win because mm -hmm. each of them are talented, if not in the same way. And, in and they're all way. very different. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Most definitely. And uh, Ginger is hilarious, and she can sing. Mm -hmm. Kennedy can dance your ass off. Mm -hmm. Violet is gorgeous and she can really perform and put on a show. Mm -hmm. um, same thing with Pearl. And then like with... Katya. Mm -hmm. Katya, mm -hmm. yes. Can really put on a show. And she's freaking hilarious. So exciting. And like, I mean, it's just all... It's too hard to pick a top three. It's, you exactly. know... Exactly. They should just divide the 100,000 between the five of them. Oh my god. I think everyone would Actually, hate Actually, they should donate it to Ornacea. Ornacea <laughs> needs to start a Kickstarter because she needs um, a new face. Or she needs a body. A body. Yeah. She needs a body. She needs a body and, and some hair. body. So just give the 100000 to Ornacea and let all five of the remaining queens win. That's my solution. With a fraction of the crown. See, I could solve world peace. <laughs> like, I could totally solve world peace. I just did right there in RuPaul's Drag Race land. So all you little people that are sitting there in your keyboard courage, just world peace. That's all I gotta say. It's just world peace <laughs> and be pretty. <laughs> right? Yep. Great. I'm so glad that I solved all of that for us. Really. You should like totally be like the leader of like the world and stuff. Well, I kind of like, am. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I'm on my way. Really, you know. Um, <laughs> You're in your little segue, just roll yes, along. <laughs> absolutely, you know, it's from RuPaul's Drag Race, season six, eliminated first to world leader. Yep. Solving world peace. Cut it. That is what I do. Kelly Mantle for world leader, yes. ladies and gentlemen. Absolutely. I would go to the Middle East and I would say, you just need to bathe and take a bath and shave. And that's gonna make you feel better already, <laughs> and you're gonna release some of those aggressions, you know, and um, put on a little bit of makeup, make yourself feel pretty, and feel good. <laughs> that's where I would start. That would be legislation number one. Are you going to donate the soap and the water and the food and the makeup to everybody and the clothes? No. <laughs> They're gonna have to give that to Ornacious Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> she has more in me than they are so but you know it's just little things like that can just really make a person feel better about themselves you know? it really can yeah. yeah and i think that would solve world peace thank you you're welcome <laughs> that's so, so <laughs> right on cue every time <laughs> right i'm like thank you oh my god it was so funny because when i was in high school i was an actor and well i still am an actor but i um I had to step in for a student that was gone to do the uh, extemporaneous speaking where they just give you a subject and then you have like five minutes to talk about it. Mm -hmm. And so they gave, you the, they gave me this and I had to step in for someone who was absent because otherwise our school would be charged or something. I don't remember what the reason was. And they gave me a little piece of paper and I didn't recognize the word on it. And I was like, that, I, this doesn't even look like English. So I go up to my teacher and I was like, what is this thing? She said, youth and Asia. And so I got up there for five minutes, and I was like, well, the youth in Asia are, like, totally cool, and they've got really good fashion, and, oh, <laughs> like, I had no idea that I was supposed to be talking about, like, you know, the death. <laughs> youth in Asia. So, I oh, think I'm the perfect... in youth. Asia? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was one word. Well, euthanasia is one word. Oh, really? And I didn't recognize it said that. And so I uh, asked my teacher what it was, and she whispered in my ear, euthanasia. Like she was saying it, euthanasia. But I heard youth in Asia. 
Oh, and I was like, okay. oh, they must have just misspelled it on this piece of paper, so I'm going to talk about the youth in, in Asia. Asia. Okay. <laughs> so the reason I bring that up is I am the perfect candidate to solve world peace, really. Totally, dude. Totally, dude. Right on. Yeah. Hot. Sweet, man. <laughs> yeah. Right. California I'm going to go to bed now. <laughs> And I'm going to stay the night here, and y'all take my leg off, because I can't anymore. <laughs> okay, good night. Night. <laughs> well, I hope you all enjoyed our chats about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7, Episode 10. Yes, and be sure and, and tune in to see who's going to win. And also tune in. Oh, we didn't get to show my cool shoes. They didn't even have the camera on my shoes. Aren't they cool? We have hair all over them. Um, Hairy shoes. They're all growing a beard. I didn't get to show my cool shoes. They're really <laughs> They're cool. cool. They're so much fun. I love them. Thank you. <laughs> Go ahead and sign this off. I'm sorry, I have to take this. Okay. Hi, well, Pearl. They see one. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just kidding. Um, okay. So, I hope you all enjoyed this little chit chat me and this lovely Kelly Mansell got to have about RuPaul's Drag Race Season 7, Episode 10. Isn't it 10 yet? I have no idea. I think it's 10. I never know what episode it is because I'm just like, I have ADD so bad. Screw you, Katie Hopkins. Anyway. <laughs> Who? Katie Hopkins. Who's that? Have you watched um, Celebrity Big Brother? No. Okay. She's this lady who's English and she thinks she knows everything and so she judges people on their weight and how smart they are and how smart their name sounds and like um, she says that ADD is just an excuse to be lazy and blah 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 all this stuff but like I mean yeah she's just uh, she's pathetic she's absolutely pathetic uh, and so back to you Katie Holmes <laughs> Oh, wait, what's your name? <laughs> Katie Holmes. <laughs> what's her name? Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins. <laughs> Katie Hopkins. <laughs> Same. But, <laughs> but yeah, it was super, super fun. Oh, and yeah, so to much have fun. Over. Thank you for having You're me. You're like the mo like one of the most fun people like ever. Yay! And Yay! <laughs> <laughs> buildings, you know, because they're real. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Camaro with me one day. Oh, 
Huh? You have to go riding in my Camaro with me one day. Camaro? Uh-huh. What's a Camaro? I have a 79 Camaro. Oh, okay, it's a car, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out on the PCH and like... Oh, that's cool. Fuck yeah. Or my motorcycle. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Last time I've been on a motorcycle, I was on a motorcycle with my cousin, who's like a total douchebag. <laughs> That is the best time to be on a motorcycle with I mean, I'm just gonna say it, you know. If you're gonna be on a motorcycle with someone, you wanna be on a motorcycle with a douchebag. You know, because, first of all, they're sexy on motorcycles, and secondly, they just like, weave in and out of the traffic and stuff. They don't get no fucks. He's like- I need to go ride him with him. Right up my back alley. I like that, what's his name? Michael. Michael. Just like every other person in the world. We're gonna call him Rex. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call him Rex. You wanna go riding, Rex? Let's do it, baby. Yeah. Anyway, so thank you for watching. Thank you so much, guys. I we really appreciate you. it. And, like, yeah. Love you all. <laughs> Please subscribe to me. Check out the rest of her stuff and with her albums and everything. And I love you all. Kapwa. What's that mean? It means success in Klingon.